Hi, I'm Jen the Say What, and I'm going to show you how I am doing my Scarecrow from Arkham Asylum mask. First things first is I went on Amazon.com and bought myself this mask. Um, it was about $15. It was on Prime, so I got it in about three days, which was awesome. So this mask isn't identical to the Scarecrow's. As you can tell that these pieces are much bigger than what his respirator mask looks like. So I just went ahead and if I can pop these off, no, I have to set the head down. I just pop these off because they just come right off. And a word to the wise, whenever I pop these off, there was some plastic pieces, some plastic bits right in here. And they were really flimsy. They were easily able to just pull right out. I pulled all three of them out because I'm asthmatic. I cannot breathe in this thing. So I would suggest pulling those out before you start on a mask. So next step after I did this, which is the easiest part, I got a piece of cardboard, like a cardboard circle. Um, this was a pretty big cardboard piece. It wasn't like a, what do you call it? Tube for toilet paper, there we go. So I cut that in half. And what I'm going to do next is I will be cutting out a circle out of the thicker foam. And what I did was measured about a half a centimeter, no, a full centimeter from each of these little circles and a quarter of an inch between the, the end and where the circles are. So I'm going to go ahead and cut out this big circle and I'm going to cut out this tiny, tiny little circle that I made because I tried to use a Dremel and I don't have a steady hand for that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did that. And there is that. Next, I'm going to take some contact cement and a wooden popsicle stick. And what I'm going to do is glue the inside of this. And you don't need a lot, just a little bit will do. And you're gonna go on the inside of that tube. Once I cover the inside of that, we'll take this and just drop it in. And try and get it flush against that. I might go over it one more time with just a little bit. Like so. All right, so I'm gonna take my trusty Dremel and I'm gonna Dremel each individual circle. This way, whenever you put this on the mask, like so, you're not blocking your airway because that would be pretty bad because you know you need to breathe and stuff. So that should be enough holes and enough breathing area, space, whatever, so I don't pass out during a con. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to the second one and then I will glue this onto here after I'm done spray painting this puppy. All right, so my next step is I'm taking this, my tubing for the respirator, and I need to turn it into this. Now, what I used for this to spray paint it, first I did a layer of black Plasti-Dip, 
which I will show you in a second. And then after the Plasti Dip set in it dried, then I went and used my metallic spray paint. Let's go ahead and get that started. Oh, it was leg like steak. Okay, so what I used for it was I took one of these again and just put it right in the center so I can use it to, to hold it up. And you'll just do a layer of it. Like so. And now we play the waiting game. Next thing that I'm going to do for my respirator is I went ahead and took off this piece off of the blue main section and I'm going to glue down these. I already glued down that one. I used a hot glue gun. Um, I tried to use the contact cement and it didn't work, glue, but I decided to go really quick and easy and I just decided, screw it, I'm just gonna use the hot glue gun. So I will show you how to do that. There you have it. I went ahead and covered a little bit of the respirator mask without this piece on there. I'm gonna keep this off until the last bit and I'm gonna go around it with some extra pieces. So I went ahead and took the burlap, hot glued it to the face mask. Um, I had to cut some of the holes back out of that just so it, you know, is easily breathe breathable, breathe throughable. I don't even know the word, but um, I'm going to go over it right now and show you guys how I glued that down. Um, basically just held it down, glued it around that edge, then cut it off so that won't be touching my face too much because that's going to be really itchy. And then went over it with some yarn that I got from somewhere from the thrift store for 25 cents. Woo -woo. So it's just rug wool and just use that to stitch. And I made it look a little sloppy and crisscrossy like his is. Cause he has a line here and a line down here, which I will do also. So let's get that started. So what I'm doing next is taking a thick knitting sewing needle. They come um, at Michael's for like maybe $3, the plastic ones. And you will just do some crazy stitches on this. And it doesn't have to be perfect, because his isn't perfect. I will have to cut out this little hole because I want to be able to breathe. This is what I have so far. I'm going to have to clean up a few of the edges, cut this to fit, and then also cut a little bit on the lines of this and push it down. This way this snaps back into place because there's still some pieces that are are making it impossible to snap into place. So I will do that and I will proceed to the next step after that. All right, so I'm in the final home stretch of my respirator. What I did is I covered it in the burlap and 
I didn't think it looked enough like the scarecrow because that part is typically like really dark black because that's where his mouth is open. And I decided just to take some scrap black fabric and put that on top. And there's this that I will take with the, the needle and just go into the burlap and just sew it in like that. So I'll bring it taut and it will make it look a lot better and look more scarecrow-ish. So I will do that and it should turn out very similar to the scarecrow's face and creepy mask smile thing. So there's that and I will show you guys that next. So what do you able to hear me? But I put a I'm trying to talk like the score so it's not working. Just for added effect I put on my makeup. Yeah. <sighs> Gotta breathe. Alright, so let's get these lights on so you can see what's going on. So, with my scarecrow costume, I put a voice changer down here and just stuck it into the mask. So you should be able to hear kind of a distorted new voice, which I'll just add to it. Um, added the LEDs to this. Um, that's pretty much it. I can breathe, so this really worked out. Um, so yeah, this is my scarecrow mask. Giving me a funny look, but you can't see it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making this. Don't forget to check out Jenna Say What on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and also don't forget to subscribe. Did you ever say what?